Hello, Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. You guys, I am learning so much, and I am having so much fun, I can barely control it. Um, in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to use the infusible ink you have to make luggage tags. I bought the luggage tags with the purpose of using them for sublimation, and I started thinking about it. What about people who have just not gotten into sublimation yet? What about those who are not ready to just take that dive and you know spend the money to get some, some materials for sublimation? I don't want to leave them out, and I don't want anyone to feel pressured to get into sublimation if they're just truly not ready for it. So I know a lot of us have infusible ink because we have those Cricut mug presses or we have, you know, we just wanted to get into using infusible ink. So before Cricut stopped selling the Cricut Joy infusible ink, I purchased as many boxes as I could find. And so in today's tutorial, I will show you how I use the Cricut Joy infusible ink to make these luggage tags. So this is one of them. And this is the other one. Look at that. It just says Delanda loves to travel. And I know it's cute because I do love to travel. It doesn't say Delanda loves to travel. It says Delanda loves road trips. Without further ado, let's look at the materials that you will need to do a project just like this. The materials that you will need or the materials that I use to complete these designs, I use my Cricut 9x9 Easy Press. I use Cricut heat resistant tape. I use the small box of Cricut Joy infusible ink for this design. And I use the, this one is the Cricut Joy infusible ink. This one is called the Galaxy pattern. I purchased this one on, on clearance. Um, I use butcher paper. I use my heat resistant um, Cricut heat mat, heat press mat. And I use these blanks that I purchased um, online. I will put all the links in the um, down in the description. I also needed to use my gloves this time because these blanks, when they come off the heat press, are extremely, extremely hot. The design that I use for this um, luggage tag, I purchased this one from in a bundle from Design Bundles. I'll put a link down there for that one. And this, I just created myself. Okay, and I was connected to my Cricut Maker, but you could also do this with the Cricut Joy or the Cricut Explore Air 2. Any Cricut machine will work for this. And I also use my Cricut Standard Grip Mat. Okay, without further ado, let's head on over to Cricut Design Space. Okay, I am in Cricut Design Space and I am connected to my Cricut Maker. Um, but this project can be done on the Cricut Maker or the Cricut Explore Air 2 or even the Cricut Joy because the um, sublimation blanks or the blanks that I'm using are very small. So they would, I think that they would, you know, this would fit on a Cricut Joy. I do not have a Cricut Joy, but I'm just <laughs> giving you that advice. Okay, so the first thing that I'll do is create a template. So I'll come over here to the left into the shapes panel and um, I will choose a square. I will resize the square. Right now the view on my canvas is at 100% and it's okay for right now. Um, I will unlock this and the size of these blanks that I'm using when I measured them is 2.4 um, inches wide and four inches um, in height. So, I'll make a template to match that. So I'm going to unlock, I'm going to change this to 2.4 and I'm going to change this to four. Okay. Now when I look at this template, I see that there is a little oval at the top. And when I measured with my ruler, I could tell that that oval is about one inch wide. So I will grab a circle. I will unlock it and I will resize it to about one inch. It's about one inch wide. That looks just like about it. Okay. And I will I will center that horizontally. Okay, look at that. All right. And let me just be sure because even though I'm putting it on my 
design, I don't actually want to um, print that out. So I'm gonna change the color of this to white because my design is white. And I'm gonna put this here, but I'm not going to attach it or slice it or any of that because my design is, this is just a template for my design. All right, the next thing that I will do is just kind of think about what do I want to put on my luggage tag? So one of the things that I love when I travel is I love road trips. So I could just make my text say, Delonda loves road trips. So I could, um, right now my text is set to AR Cena and it's regular and that is okay with me. I don't have a problem with that font. So, you know, don't always feel like you have to have an, uh, a created SVG that you purchased from somebody else. Sometimes it's okay to just make, you know, your own design. So I'm gonna center that. Um, and I'm also going to, you know, kind of bring it down because I, oh, I really don't like the way the, the line spacing is. So let me bring that up. And I think I'm going to Maybe not have road capitalized and trips doesn't need to be capitalized either. I don't like the way that looks kind of, this looks weird. Okay. And because that looks so really like basic and boring, um, one thing that I will do, let me kind of, I like that better. And I'm going to add, I like an exclamation point on everything. Okay, um, I am going to go into images and search for something that I could use to add them as an image. Okay, so I can just type in travel. I am not a Cricut Access member, so any files that I use, I tend to look for free files. Okay, so all of these look like, um, this one is free. Um, there's a free file here. Um, but there's a way to filter your search to only look for free files. So I could go to ownership, go to free, and that will filter my search. I like this one right here. I am going to insert that. And what I will do is just kind of you know bring it down and connect it to what I have here already so I will take all of this together and I will attach it and I will bring this down in here okay. I love the way that looks <laughs> I absolutely love the way this looks. Okay, so remember this background, this rectangle is just a template. It is not, I'm not going to cut it or anything like that. I'm using infusible ink, so I can, you know, I can just hide this so I can save it. I am going to turn the rectangle off and I am going to, you know, make sure my image is selected and I'm going to click make it. Okay, since I'm using infusible ink, I know that I have to have it connected to a heat source. And since I have to have it connected to a heat source, I'm also going to mirror my design. Now, with the infusible ink that I'm using, I'm using one of the smaller boxes of the infusible ink. It is the one that is um, 4.5 by 12. So the height of it is, um, you know, it's 4.5. 4.5 so I know that with the luggage tag I want this to be at the bottom of the tag so that it doesn't interfere with that circle that's at the top of the tag okay it, this will make more sense when you see my design um, cut out all right so I will go ahead and click continue I will browse all materials I don't have infusible ink saved as a favorite 
um, because I, I honestly don't use it enough to, to save it as a favorite. I just dropped my box. Okay, I'm gonna click done. Okay, it says base material set to infusible ink transfer sheet. Um, make sure mirror is turned on. My mirror is turned on. I'm gonna have it on default pressure, the fine point blade. Remember, you could do this with the Cricut Maker or you could do this with your um, Cricut Joy or your Cricut Explore Air 2, okay? Okay, I have my infusible ink loaded on my Cricut Standard Grip Mat. I am going to load it into my Cricut Maker and get my design cut out. I am going to, my design is still here on my Cricut Standard Grip Mat. I am going to go ahead and peel this off and cut away the, ex, the excess um, infusible ink that I don't need. Um, I am going to cut here and then weed this out with my with my fingers. Okay, I have my Cricut 9x9 Easy Press heated up to 400 degrees. I have butcher paper, I have the luggage blank, luggage tag, and I have the design that is going to go on the luggage tag. The next thing that I'll do, and I have my um, heat press mat, and I'm going to keep this butcher paper here. I am going to use these gloves <laughs> because, oh my goodness, this is going to be super hot when it comes out. I've already prepared this um, blank. Um, there isn't a plastic sheet on top of it. So um, what I have found um, is, you know, the best way to do this is to lay the design down and just make sure that it is, um, that nothing is in between that, nothing is in the middle of that hole right there. And then, you know, once you check that, kind of just pick it up to do a double check because you can see it through, you know, through here to see if it's even. So I think I have it pressed down enough and I hope that it's centered enough. And if it's not, then <laughs> don't make this mistake be better than me. Okay, so I am going to put this down here on my heat press mat on top of the butcher paper. And I'm going to put butcher paper on top of this. And I'm going to press this. I'm gonna give it a little bit of pressure um, for 60 seconds. Okay, so the goal is to pick it straight up. Let me put that glove on. Look at these long, luxurious gloves, okay? I'm gonna take this off. Ooh, I did not mean to do that. Hopefully I did not mess it up. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. Look at that's so cute. Look at my little luggage tag with my infusible ink. <laughs> okay, I love it. Okay, so hopefully you were able to follow my process. So when there, when it opens back up for us to start traveling freely and we're not stuck at the airport, you will be ready. In one of my tutorials, I showed you how to lay your vinyl, um, your permanent vinyl on your travel size bottles. This is one of the pillows that my daughter takes every time we do a trip. Um, here's my luggage tag attached here. This one, of course, will be for Peter when we're ready to get ready, getting ready to go. And I'm wearing my cozy Rockets hoodie that I love to wear when I'm traveling. 
So um, hopefully you were able to follow my process. I do have a Facebook group. It is called Cricut Crafting with Delanda. We would love for you to join us there. We are in the middle of a challenge, CC7. So if you are up for a challenge, come on over and join us. We don't do sales, we don't do dumps. Make sure you answer all the questions and you will be admitted with no problem. Um, thanks so much for joining me. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. I do upload new content every single week. Thanks again for joining me and thanks for watching. Bye!